Mark Tibbon. We're at Tibbon Farms Incorporated in Princeton, Ontario. I farm with my family. We milk 180 cows in a robotic freestall operation and we recently added a robotic feeding uh, aspect to our operation as well. We've been working with bunk silos for the last 20 years and uh, they were getting in a state of disrepair. After seeing the benefits and the the advantages that we appreciated with robotic milking, it led us to pursue robotic feeding as well. The harvest or silos seem to be the nicest fit for the robotic and the fully automated feeding systems as compared to uh, bump silos versus uh, top unload concrete silos. We still do our, our own harvesting. We have a pull type forage harvester. Capacity-wise, we're able to fill the upright silos at the same speed or faster than we could fill the bunk, but we've eliminated the need for a man. We can fill at the same pace or faster with one less person as we did before. In the future, as our harvesting capacity increases, then we, we believe we still got room there that uh, we could handle a larger harvester or, or a custom operator. And, still built uh, to keep pace with their machinery too. The benefits we like of the harvest or silos are the bottom unload fermented feed year round. First feed in is the first feed out. You know feed needs to ferment for a couple months before you feed it to your cows uh, to eliminate that traditional fall slump in milk production. This way we're always feeding fermented feed. So our production has increased slightly uh, but we've noticed more in, in the lines of our components are higher uh, since we've been feeding the drier feed uh, versus the wet, traditionally wetter feeds of the bunk silo. We calculate our feed savings on spoilage annually to be $30,000. This system, we like to refer to it as being 100% automated. My daily chores are sweeping the floors in the feed room and checking the level in the premix bins uh, to make sure that the mineral is we got enough for the day. And if I wasn't here for three days, it wouldn't affect anything. I just have more dust to sweep up when I get home. Compared to previously, we were uh, spending three and a half hours a day feeding the cows um, to the current 10 minutes a day has been a, a major labor savings for us. On average it uh, does 28 to 30 mixes a day. Realistically every one of those mixes could be different if you want it to be. Delivering fresh feed to your to your milk cows 16 or 17 times a day uh, it's always fresh in the bunk. We've eliminated having to clean out the manger in front of the cows. Uh, that used to be a daily job. We keep less feed in the manger, but it's delivered fresh more often. So the one thing that we noticed uh, immediately after starting with the automated feeding and delivering fresh feed multiple times per day was the rumination store was dead consistent all day long as compared to when we would feed once a day, you would always see a peak shortly after feeding and then it would tail off through the day. The system that we sold them was 325 by 106 harvester silos, new style, new models, which hold about a thousand tons capacity. Including with that, we installed three, one of our new XL400 unloaders with a capacity of between 400 and 600 pounds feed delivery. And they purchased also a a smaller structure 20 by 80 for their uh, job straw which they use in the feeding system. Altogether with our hive panel we also promote in this case and sold to them where it goes automatically into the holding boxes all the feed and including we have a system that we can check out the oxygen level in the system which is new for Harvest Store which we developed a couple of years ago so we can control the oxygen level, the check out the unloaders, the performings when it was lubricated and everything. So we are very pleased with this new system at Tibbon Farm.